Hi, my name is Joe and I'm from the Boston area. I'm a longtime Republican. I actually became a Republican at the age of 18, um, uh, attracted to the party by a combination of the party's commitment to fiscal responsibility, uh, small government, and strong defense. I uh, was raised by two Republican parents in a Republican area of central New York and, and, um, and remained an active participant in the Republican Party for about 28 years, and uh, those 28 years uh, ended in 2016. So in 2016, I looked around after the nomination of Donald Trump, and I looked what the uh, party represented and realized that I couldn't find any trace of that party that I had joined um, all those years ago um, in the party of 2016. And so in that year, I decided I would become an independent and that I would not vote for Donald Trump. So in the year 2020, I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. And, uh, and in spite of the fact that I still view myself as a Republican, um, that decision is very easy to me, which is I look around at the country now versus three and a half years ago, and I can definitively say that we are poor, we are more divided, and we are less secure than we were in 2016. And I can directly attribute all of this uh, to Donald Trump. And the division of the country, I just look around at how the White House and the presidency is um, being used for patronage that, you know, whether you need uh, uh, ventilators to support the citizens of your state or, or FEMA support for wildfires or hurricanes, everything is about providing fealty to Donald Trump. And if you do that, you may get the support you need. And if you don't, you will not likely get the support that you need. Um, that's just not what the presidency is about, which is a president is elected uh, to represent all of us including those people who didn't vote for the president. Um, so for me, the divisions in this country were already at a fragile state before Donald Trump took over, but now I think they're at an acute state. Another reason why I'm voting for Joe Biden is um, I think Trump may be the single worst executive I have ever seen. He, uh, he lacks strategic vision, um, lacks focus, spends too much time on social media, uh, doesn't read enough. Uh, he, he seems to view every engagement as needing to have a winner and a loser, as opposed to realizing that sometimes some of the best business deals you do are ones where there's a win-win. And he's shown a, a really poor job of managing our finances. The $2.3 trillion tax cut looks just like a, uh, you know, a profound waste of our national resources that our kids and their kids will be paying off in future generations. And then the management of our foreign policy, everything from his approach to NATO, um, his approach to Russia, just shows a profound lack of understanding of, um, of, of the world and uh, of, um, of American power and, and how you can assert, insert assert influence across the world. Another reason why I'm voting for Joe Biden is uh, COVID-19. Uh, I believe that any leader of any country deserves a pass in the early phases of the pandemic, which is, I think everyone uh, made mistakes. We all underestimated what it was that, that was happening around the world, and we all underestimated what impact it would have on the, the health of the people around us and, and, and certainly the economy. But I feel as though we're here today with a shattered economy for one reason, which is we couldn't do what the rest of the world was doing. We couldn't consistently listen to scientists and hold firm on policy. You know, I just look back to that same week where, where uh, Donald Trump was espousing a quarantine. He was also tweeting free Michigan and, and sending conflicting messages around uh, the use of masks. So. I think today, um, you know, we are in a much worse situation because of how uh, Donald Trump and the White House actually managed this pandemic. And, you know, to have over a quarter of the world's deaths with 4% of the world's population is, uh, is the best evidence that I could give anybody. Another reason why I'm going to vote for Joe Biden is I believe that Donald Trump has and continues to uh, lead the most corrupt administration that I have ever seen. So I think our uh, founders wanted to have clear separations of uh, between the different branches of our government and didn't want any chance that we could ever have 
a, a, a dictator, an authoritarian ruling over this country. And I think that's exactly what we have, which is I think Donald Trump has subverted everything from, you know, uh, appropriations to the FBI to, you know, his misuse of intelligence to the right of Congress to assert it, uh, oversight over the executive branch. I think these things by themselves, each one, um, uh, you know, may seem uh, relatively modest, but together I think they are subverting our democracy and there's going to be um, uh, repercussions for decades into the future. Another reason why I am going to be voting for Joe Biden is I'd like to have the truth back, which is, you know, the simple fact is, is that there are not alternative facts. There's, there's truth and then there's opinion. And, uh, and we have entered a world in which anything that, that the Trump White House disagrees with is fake news. Now, I'm the first to tell you that I don't think you get absolute truth from Fox News, and I don't think you get absolute truth from CNN. But at the same time, there are uh, sources of truth, and, and there is a right side of every story. And I think um, we've completely eliminated that from our culture. And, and what was the fourth estate is uh, really in a fragile state and, you know, and is no longer able to do its, do its job anymore to support protecting the integrity of our democracy. So I'm still, in spite of all this, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm optimistic for our country. Um, I believe we can get through this. And, um, you know, if you look back in history, there have been points in time where we've had this type of division before and we've managed to survive and, and uh, prosper as a, as, a, as a country. But we're in a very difficult time. And I know today that another four years of Donald Trump will make us um, poorer more divided and even even less secure than we are today. And uh, in addition, I think it actually has the possibility of actually uh, potentially uh, making our democracy um, highly unstable. So, um, so I hope you uh, at least consider, if you're out there and you're like me, you're a Republican that's uh, on the fence wondering what the right thing is to do. Um, you may not like everything that Joe Biden represents, but I think Joe Biden will not just represent the Democrats and the independents that vote for him. I think he'll make uh, a, a real attempt to represent all Americans. Thank you for your time.